everyone. You made it through the first four weeks. I know you did an amazing, fantastic job. Now we're going into the next four weeks uh, of the Goddess of Booty Lower Body Workout. This is the Ruby phase, and you're going to need a set of weights and an exercise mat, your water bottle, and if you have one, a gym boss timer. I'm going to show you how to do each exercise so you know what to do and what form to use. So, go get your stuff and meet me right back here. I know you're sticking to your nutrition plan. Sometimes it gets hard, but remember, if you fall off, if you have a bad day, just keep going. Don't give up. You can do it. So many people, they think they, they, they had a bad day and they're done. No, that is not the way to do it. I know you can do this. I believe in you. You have to believe in yourself. Journaling your food, writing it down every day. I gave you that food log. Build your binder. And you have all the tools there that you need to get through these 12 weeks. If you need to, shoot me an email. I am here for you, okay? Okay, these next four weeks are cardio and lower body. We're going to be throwing in some cardio blasts with our lower body to really start shredding off the weight. I know you're eating well, following the eating plan, and looking really, really good by now. All right, so now we're going to start with circuit one. There are five circuits. We're going to do each exercise three times before moving on to the next circuit. So grab your dumbbells, and we're going to start with a stationary lunge, okay? We're just lunging forward and lunging back. Lunging forward and lunging back. Keeping that core nice and tight, making sure our knee is not going over our toe. All right, we're gonna do 20 on one side and then you're gonna do 20 on the other. That's right, now I have a suggested weight that you start with, but to make these harder as you get better and better, Increase the weight, and that will really work your muscle. Okay, so 20 alternating lunges on each side. Now, we're going to get into the cardio move. I take my exercise mat. If you have a towel, whatever it is, we're going to do skiers. A lot of you have probably seen me do skiers. I love them. They get the heart rate up. The lower you go with your squat, the harder it's going to be. All right, I'm going to put it on my timer for 30 seconds. And I'm going to show you how to do the skiers. Here we go. It's up and over. Up and over. Now, if you're just starting out, it might be a little tap. But if you're advanced, really, you're going over those moguls. Ski, ski, all right? For 30 seconds, you can go really low down, fast, whatever works for you. Just keep it going. 30 seconds on the clock. All right, here we are at circuit two. We're going to do a squat with an overhead shoulder press. Again, I'm starting with 10 pounds here. You might want to start with five. You might want to start with 15. It all depends on your level. But we're going to put our feet about a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're squatting down and coming up and doing an overhead press at the same time for our shoulders. So down, really squeeze it. Squeeze that booty when you come up. Boom, punch him up to the ceiling. Down and up. And you can make it more cardio by going faster. Okay? Those are a squat with an overhead shoulder press. You're gonna be doing 20 of those. All right, next exercise is a jump squat. 30 second jump squat. What we're gonna do is come down and up. Down and up. All right, <laughs> cameraman loves when I move around. All right, so here we go. 30 seconds on the clock, down and up, down and up. And really, give it all you got for these 30 seconds. Do your best, this is your workout. Make it count. We're getting it in, we're getting it done, and we're shaping those glutes and burning the fat this month. All right, keep it going. We're gonna move on to circuit three. All right, we're moving on to circuit three. Hope you caught your breath. And this time we're gonna be doing deadlifts, which are for our hamstrings, 
combined with a front shoulder raise. We want some sexy shoulders, and we're going to do a 30 second of sexy scissors. So grab your weights, and what we're doing with the deadlift, we're going to have a slight bend in the knee. Some people keep them stiff, and some people have a slight bend. So whatever you're more comfortable with, I tend to keep them straight. Okay, so we're bending from the hip. We're putting our booty to the, the wall behind us and bending down. You're going to feel that nice stretch in your hamstring. Then I want you to squeeze the glutes and pull up. It's all coming from that squeeze in the glutes. Then we're going to raise our weights to a front shoulder raise and down. And keep it going for 20. Down and raise. Beautiful. That's it. Down and raise. I want you to have proper form always, okay? You're doing a great job, okay? All right, that is our deadlift with a front raise. And now we're going to go into sexy scissors. You're doing 30 seconds of sexy scissors. It's opposite arm, opposite leg, and we're hopping back and forth. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Getting that cardio in. Using those legs, keep it going for 30 seconds. You can really pump it out. Come on, boom, boom, come on. Punch it out, that's it. Keep going, keep going, 30 seconds. You keep it going, I'll see you for circuit four. All right, we're ready for circuit four, but I just wanna make sure you are running through all those exercises three times, because that is what is gonna get your glutes to salute, as my friend JML says, to get them from the basement to the penthouse. You've got to do the work, okay? So this is circuit four, and we are doing a squat with a kick. You could do a front kick or a side kick, wherever you need more work, wherever you feel more comfortable. So grab those weights, I bring them up, all right? We're going to put our feet about shoulder width apart again. We're squatting down and kicking out, squatting down and kicking out. All right, this is one on both sides, two, that's it, three, and this is what a side kick looks like, boom, boom, all right, so maybe one set you want to do a front kick, and one set you want to do a side kick, mix it up, whatever, okay, those are really, really great, next thing we're going to do is that half burpee, I could have given you a full burpee, but I gave you the half. I was feeling a little nice. So we're going down on the ground. It's going to be 30 seconds. All right. And I'm going to show you the beginner and advanced. If you're a beginner, I just want you going in and tapping. If you're advanced, it's coming in and jumping out. Coming in and jumping out. So let's do that timer. If I can find the button. If not, here we go. All right. So half burpees. These are great cardio, fat burning. You can do anything for 30 seconds. That's why you make it 30 seconds. Because it's doable and it works. Alright? Keep it going for 30 seconds. And then we're moving on to circuit number five. Alright, you're doing great. You're burning it. You're working it. We are almost done. We're on the last circuit. Circuit number five, we're going to be going down on the floor, so you need your mat, and we're going to do a couple exercises for those abs. So let's go. We're doing what's called a sit and reach sit up, okay? So, we're going to be doing these for 20. I think my dog might be coming in the video in any second. All right, we're sitting down. This is Jake, everybody. All right, sweetie, we're going to move. And we're coming up, reaching forward and coming back. Reaching forward and coming back. Now if you put your legs down, it makes it a little bit harder. If you bring your legs up, a little bit easier. So maybe that's hard. I don't know. Okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 20 to the front and then you're gonna give me 10 on each side. I'm just going to show you, all right, really working those abs, and then we're going to do another 
20 to the front. Yeah, that's a lot of sit-ups. You can do it. All right, next exercise we're going to do is a plank. And the plank, all the exercises we've done so far come from your core, so you've been working your core out. But um, this is a great one to really build that strength. Now, for beginners, you're going to be down on your knees for the plank. You want to keep your booty low, a little bit more advanced. You're going to be doing this full plank, and for really, really advanced, you can put your hands way out in front of you. I'm going to start here in the intermediate, and we're going to be holding this for one minute. Now, I give you one minute to build up to. If you can't do it, once you get to that minute, then start increasing it by 30 seconds, okay? So you can go up to five minutes if you want, really building up that core. Okay, so here we go. We're pulling in those abs. We're on our elbows, looking forward, find a nice spot in front of you to look at. Keep your focus, pulling in those abs, keeping them tight, seeing how long you can stay here. And just be with yourself, be with your thoughts. All right? One minute. All right. Excellent. Keep it going. All right, everybody. This is the Ruby phase, the second four weeks of the Goddess Booty Lower Workout Program. You can do it. You're getting stronger. Your glutes are getting tighter. Squeeze those glutes when you're driving in your car. Squeeze those glutes when you're in the movie theater. Squeeze them while you're at work. You can do it and you can get them tighter, higher, and firmer. If I can do it, I know you can do it. I'll stop rocking. All right, so uh, we're going to be moving into phase three, which is the diamond phase next month. So get ready, get prepared, and I'll see you in four weeks. Bye-bye.